Hi everyone, this is Tuplex, welcome back. Today we're gonna set up our train outposts for making low density structures and rocket control units. And what I'd like to do is, I'd like to basically blueprint this whole setup, um, this whole rail setup with the train stations and the stacker, uh, as well as the exit from the main line. And then I'm just gonna duplicate this uh, two times to the east of this one. So um, let's start by checking to see if I can grab a blueprint of this whole thing. Yeah, I should be able to. Um, now the blueprint itself might end up being so big that it's difficult to place. Yeah, and I'm not able to get I'm not able to get the uh, the part that's not covered by radar. So I think we're gonna have to go over there and do that in person. All right, so let's head over to our eastern waypoint, and uh, that waypoint is going to have to be moved now since we're gonna be pushing the end of the line further east. But we'll start from here and then I can just walk up this way to reveal this part of the map and then I should be able to get a blueprint of the whole thing. Um, but actually let's let's move let's move this endpoint first. That way because I don't necessarily need this to be part of my blueprint. All right, so let's grab a blueprint of this whole thing, including, uh, but first let's replace these with laser turrets. Like that. Okay, and then we'll get a blueprint of that. And I'm going to tell it to include the train station name because I'm gonna relocate this uh, and if I include that, it'll automatically name the train station and I won't have to do it again myself. Okay. So now we can pick this up and get my rail book. All right. And then let's just extend this line. I'm not quite sure how far we need to go, but, uh, We'll take it a few sections. I suppose I ought to slow down a bit to give my bots enough time. And I'm out of track. What am I doing on signals? Okay, let's grab some track. I'll grab a few signals. I'm doing okay on power poles. I will get more lights. Okay, and like I mentioned before, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna clear all the trees on on my rails unless I really need to. So I'll just leave all those trees in the middle. Looks kind of nice. Why is there a stone here? I must have blown up a base at some point. Okay, and then we will. Whoa! Looks like I've got some friends over here. We have to be careful. All right, and then we'll place that down. All right. And then we'll tell my train to... No, nope, not there. All right, so we'll wait for our train to get back over here. In the meantime, I'll... 
try to attract these biters. You can see my personal laser defense going to work. Energy shields doing their job. So that makes that part of it pretty easy. All right, <clears throat> so let's wait for my train to get over here. And then we'll take that back over to grab a blueprint. Oops. I thought I was turning right, but I guess I didn't. This train is hard to slow down, and I think I've already... I've gotten all the braking speed research I can. Or braking force. Seems like we need a couple more levels still. Okay. Alright, so now we can see the whole area. So let me clear that blueprint. And I'm going to try to grab this whole thing. Oh, see, now I'm not going to be able to get that part, but that's okay. It's okay. All right, I'll just grab all of this. All right, so we've got everything past the first power pole down there. All right, now in this case, I'm not going to include the station names because these are going to be renamed. All right, so now we need to figure out where to put our, our junctions. So we need to be, let's see, leaving enough room for the rocket. You know, we could do the next one like right here, let's say. Okay, so we could put one junction there. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the junction will be here, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then the next junction will be right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and set that up. set up those junctions and then we can crud and then we can lay in the blueprints this is why I hate driving the train manually I always screw up So next junction is right here. All right, so first I'm going to always remove the signals where I place the junction, just because I want the junction signals to take the place of the ones that I have there. All right, so there's junction number one. And then our blueprint goes down just after that first signal and I think I'm gonna have to do this from map view because I can't see hmm okay this is as far out as I can zoom all right so I'm gonna to go to map view I'm gonna line this up here can't see the bottom yeah this is uh, part of a problem when you have blueprints that are too big okay so let's grab this one again 
And again, I want map view just because it, I could just place this on top to get it aligned. And then I can just use my cursor to move things over and and then I can shift left click and hopefully everything will end up going in the right place. All right, that looks good. So now we'll just give our bots a chance to build all this. up so they recharge faster. Okay, here's our stacker. And we're out of stuff. So let's go get the train. Um, we'll get this Finished up fairly quickly. All right, make a right turn. All right, I did it. There we go. Um, I think I might need more wooden chests. Crafting those. Bots are taking a little while to recharge. They're, they have a lot of stuff to put down here. Hmm. That's weird didn't place uh, anything on the right side there. There we go. Okay, now these trees I do want to clear out. So I'm going to use grenades for as much as I can, with, hopefully without destroying anything. Alright, this part I'll just clear out that way. So I don't kill too much stuff. Okay, and... We'll do that, and that. All right, and looks like I need train stations, stack inserters. All right, yeah, the filter stack inserters I don't need. We can pick up that part. Let's clear this. Do have train stations here, so let's grab those. Uh, the other stuff I need, I'm gonna have to go back to the base. Okay, so if this one is we can do low density structures over here. Um, so low density structures are going to need copper, plastic, and steel. All right, so we'll call this LDS copper. We'll call this LDS plastic. And this one will be LDS steel. And then we need one to 
bring to get the finished goods and take them out. Um, <clears throat> however, now I'm going to have to start to change this because because I want to use robots. I don't want to use belts for this. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is remove all the belts. Yeah, I'm, I might have to relay out this whole thing. In fact, I, I'm sure I will. So let's uh, let's blacklist. Let's blacklist the power poles and the lamps. And I want to remove everything else. So let's talk about the production a little bit. Now, you can see over here we've got, uh-oh. Wow, they took out my radar. Okay. Well, we'll go fix that on the way back. All right. So for the rocket parts, you can see that we have, you know, this is what they call an eight by eight setup, uh, meaning that each production machine is affected by eight beacons, right? One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, if we're looking at this machine. And then each beacon affects eight production machines. That's if you have multiple rows. Um, <clears throat> and this is a very efficient setup to get the most use out of your beacons and modules. Um, so I want to use that type of a setup for that production. Um, and over here, I was doing some experimenting and the basic layout is going to be that we'll have a train station coming in, either you know, either emptying raw materials or taking in the finished product, either way. Uh, but we'll have a train station, it'll unload into chests. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make the most compact setup that I can to have the shortest travel distance for the bots to have to cover. So rather than doing several even rows, you know, like like normally what I would do is I would have a row of roboports above the chests and then I would put the production machines basically just across the width of the roboports and then the bots would just go up and down like that. But what I'm trying to do is starting from the center, you know, here we're going to have four cargo wagons. This is the center of the cargo wagons. I'm trying to make everything equidistant from the center of where the chests are going to be. Um, because if I, you know, if I do a full row up here, for example, then the bots going over here have a longer path to travel than the bots right there, for example. So I came up with this arrangement where, you know, these are basically radially, um, within the same radius from this center point. So this is a layout that I'd like to use. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to scale this right now. I'm going to scale this to be the same size or to use the same number of machines as I have here, which is eight. OK, so I'm going to use. I'm going to use this layout, but to begin with, we're only going to use the first eight machines. 
but this is going to be the general configuration that I use for all the bot based production outposts. Okay, so <clears throat> what we have to do here is we have to figure out a good arrangement of the raw material coming in the production and then the finished parts going out. And I think we're going to need to space these train stations more closely together. Okay. So to begin with, uh, if we unload into requester chests like this, this will be like for the copper, let's say. All right, I want to keep that blueprint. So let's use this one. So if I copy this, and again, and, and I want to put these close together so that, again, we minimize the distance that the bots are going to need to travel. So we could do another one like this. There are a couple things we could do here. We could have, we could have the next station unloading like that, which means that the track would need to be right here. Um, that's a rather compact way to do it. Yeah, in fact, I, I think I will do that because we're going to need four stations, uh, three for the raw materials and one for the outgoing materials. <clears throat> and for the final base, low density structures, we're going to need 58 assembly machines, or let's say 59. It's 58.2. So we'll need 59. We can round that up to 60. Um, this has 30, right? So we'll do, we can set up a series of rails and then we can have one below and one above. So actually let me, let me get a blueprint of this so I know how big it needs to be. So I'm going to need to tear all this up. I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave the rail on the edge just so I know where we need to exit. And then we'll pick all this up. Also get rid of those power poles. Okay, so we come out of the stacker. Right, and we could have the first one right here. I think that would work. Let's make sure that I left enough room for the rail to turn in, and I think I did. Yeah, we'll need to, oh, okay. All right, so this is where the rail is gonna be, but then we'll need to readjust the left and right position so that it lines up properly. All right, so let me pick all this up now. And then I'm going to, basically I'm gonna copy this just so I can get the relative position of the rail station. Right, like 
that. And then I need to go back and get this blueprint again. Yeah, and that's not going to fit because of the position of those beacons. Well, no, it will fit. Now, why does it fit one way and not the other way? Okay, I think what I need to do is... I need to align this like that. That way it'll be symmetrical. Okay, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna need to extend this side So let's remove this. All right, and then this is going to have to be moved over. Not that. But this part is gonna to have to be moved over like a few tiles. Let's try <coughs> Yeah, let's try like about one train car's worth. place this <laughs> now it's not lining up because I moved the train station all right I'm gonna have to remove the rail um, rail always on blueprints it always wants to snap every every two tiles because because rails are two tiles wide always. So sometimes if you have a blueprint that has rail elements in it and you can't get it to line up properly, um, you just need to remove all the rail elements and then you can move it back and forth by one tile if you need to. And I do need to do that in this case. All right, I think that is the correct position. Yep. Okay. And again, this is the center, and we're going to start with just four of each. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then we can get rid of all of this for now. Just trying to find the first. This is the first beacon that will affect these. And this is the last one. Okay. So these are going to be making low density structures. Right? And then what we'll do is we'll have, on each one of these, we'll have, hmm. Yeah, let's, um, let's 
make this a little bit better. I'm going to stagger these. And that way they can share chests. All right, so we'll have one request for chest that will feed two machines like that. And then we'll have one provider chest that will receive the output of two machines like that. Um, and then looks like one power pole and one light. Okay, now I just copy pasted into the requester chest. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double these quantities. Since we're going to be feeding two machines instead of just one. And then on the output, I will quite simply limit this to one stack. Well, let's do two stacks on the output of each one. Okay, and then oh, let's uh, let's put in our modules as well. That way the modules get copied. All right, and then we copy that. So that is one production unit. And then we have one, two, three copies of that. And then we put another row of beacons above that. I need more beacons. I think I have some in my train. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, that's a bummer. Uh, beacons. All right, I can make two more. And these are going to need speed modules. I don't have any of those either. Okay, so this is uh, our starting point. And then we'll have a row of robo ports. And the reason that I want a whole row is so that we have plenty of places for the bots to recharge as they're moving back and forth. Okay. Now this one, uh, this station, like I said, we'll call LDS copper, for example. So we'll have one each for copper, plastic, and steel. And then these are going to unload into passive providers. And then the next station will be immediately above it. going to use a blueprint to place down whatever items I don't have with me. Okay, and then we're going to have this identical station. Um, yeah. Just above it. So that's copper. Uh, this one can be steel or plastic. Okay, and then I don't think we're going to need those power poles there. And then the next one. Yeah, the next one can go immediately above it like that. Or actually, 
Yeah, let's make this a little bit easier. What I'll do is just copy this whole thing because we're going to need another set of two stations above this and as close as we can make it, which is right there. Okay, so we got copper, plastic, um, this one will be for steel. And then this final one, I'm going to remove all this because uh, this one up here is where the output is going to be. All right, so we'll just call this one LDS out. So that's where the finished uh, low density structures are going to go. And for those, we'll be using requester chests. All right, and each one of those is going to request a stack of low density structures. Well, and actually these stack in tens so we can hold We'll just request a full, a full load. So we'll request 480. Uh, that'll be a full chest. And then up here, obviously, the stack inserters are going to be going in the opposite direction. So those are going to be loading into the train rather than taking from the train. Okay, and then when we scale up, we'll have another one of these up here above this row of tracks. So all the material will come into the center and the production will be on either side. And that is the basic layout. So now we just need to get the trains out of here. So I'll put a chain signal on each of those. Um, I'm also gonna add a passenger station, but that is going to come last because that can be anywhere and I don't want to I don't want to take up valuable production space with my passenger station okay so let's go over here again and grab that layout so that we leave ourselves enough room, right? So this is going to be up here. Oops, that was weird. All right. So then I can put my passenger station immediately above this one, which could be like right here. is going to go there. All right, so this one is LDS PAX. And now that I have that, I can tell my train to go there. Let's see, LDS PAX, circuit condition. All right, we put another chain signal there. Um, I'm going to put a regular signal here so that these guys exiting only have to wait for this block to clear. We'll put another one right there. That's me waiting for my block to clear, but then we need another chain signal. Okay, and then we have to relocate our exit line. Let me 
clear some trees. is going to go there. Great. Okay. Now the next one will be a little bit easier because we've already done all the design work. I'm gonna remove all that just so that we don't have constant robot network alert beeping <laughs> for the next, uh, you know, 20 hours of gameplay. <clears throat> all right, now let's bring some power in. That looks like a good place. All right. Ports are charging. Uh, this is not getting power, so we'll need to do that. And we'll need to put another one there to get that beacon. Um, I'll work on the power distribution to make that better. Uh, we'll need to have power poles on this side as well. Just do it the ugly way for now. There we go. Okay, so this is all powered up. We need to get beacons, and then we can start to send the materials over here. Now, to begin with, I'm just going to send everything over to... If we look at our the train, the temporary train that we set up, low-density structures are going to use the these three cars. Right? So for now, I'm going to... Remove those stack inserters. Uh, that way, and then I'll just send the train to the copper outpost here, and it'll unload and it'll grab everything it needs to start making the rocket control units. Um, and then I need to bring logistics bots, obviously. Uh, we should have a radar, which we can put fairly close to the center of the station. And uh, I'll throw in a couple of turrets just to get things started. Okay, so low density structures. The base, the, this part of the base is basically operational at this point. Uh, as soon as we come back with some bots, um, looks like I need a few power poles as well. Let's get that set up. Okay. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do between episodes is I'm going to finish setting this up. I'm going to duplicate this over here. Uh, and that'll be for the rocket control units. Um, it'll be basically the same setup because we need... We need three inputs and one output on that one as well. Um, and actually the rocket control units will, will need fewer assembly machines. So we can use pretty much exactly the same layout. We'll copy paste uh, and just change the recipes. Um, so I can remove this. All right, so I'll do that. And then in the next episode, we'll be able to start making these rocket parts. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, any questions or comments are welcome as always, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.